that if we just slide it about to there, then if we have... I think we'll be able to get that far. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, right, now we'll slide forward. Nick's keen to find out exactly how 16th century sailors would have loaded and fired these huge metal right. cannon on board a moving ship. Right. He's enlisted the help of armoury expert right. so Nick Hall. Here, Nick? This, is, this is a replica, presumably. It is a replica, um, and obviously you can't fire original guns no, for this well, period. Well, you, you shouldn't, should you, really? <laughs> well, should you, you damage them. <laughs> Can you take me through how, how they would have worked this? From the beginning to the end. Yeah, yeah. Let's, he... go, let's go over and get the bits. That okay, we need I'll give you a hand. The key to firing any gun is to create a charge large enough to propel your shot. But you need an awful lot of gunpowder and wadding to fire a heavy 16th century cannonball. That is actually yeah, the, the, the powder chamber. Um, as far as we know, the powder <laughs> would be poured in loose. Yeah. And then there'd be a, a wad on top. Now, on land, um, hay was a commonly available material, right, or yeah. dry grass that yeah. you could just um, find, because most campaigns, as you know, were fought in the summer anyway. Yeah, yeah. But on, on a ship, oakum is the most uh, common sort of material. Oh, this is, material. this is bits of string, and, is it? And um, you put some of that in, ram it down on top of the powder. Right. Now, what have we missed out? Um, well, apart from putting the... The gunpowder, you mean? Well, we yeah, we put we assume we've got gunpowder, um, we've got the top wad, and we want to hit the um, enemy, don't we? So we need a projectile. Ah, right. Now I've popped one down here. This this is actually one found locally. It's um it it wouldn't actually probably be fired from this gun. But is this but roughly the right size it, for, it, this, for this gun? Is it? Yes, but it would be it would be loaded at this end. Uh, ah, yeah, it's it is fraction, actually slightly it's too a big, yeah. big, but it was one that was uh, from the site, so we thought we'd just um, right, so show it, how that but would But they would, be, they would put would it in, in here? That in there. OK, so we've got our ball so we're in. So assume we've loaded a ball, we've got we've, a chamber We've got a, uh, our chamber in there. Let me pass that one to you. If you hold it, it's like a beer tanker, isn't yeah. it, made of metal? Yeah, and it's got the little hole in the top. Yeah. If you, so if that you then drops in there, does it? That's OK. That's fine. So that goes up into the back of there. Pop that in there, and then you see this big wedge here? If you had ah to right, this this thing pick here, that up. yeah, um, and obviously and goes in the back, doesn't goes it? Goes in there. Do we That's actually right. have to knock it's that in? Yeah, yeah I've, right I've in brought a, a, so a lot. Lot. We go. Once the charge is firmly in place, all we need to send the ball on its way <laughs> is a little more gunpowder and a 16th century match. On the order from the gun. This, this would be lit. Yes, sorry, sorry, that would yeah. be lit. Um, you would touch it off. Bang! Like off it goes. Oh. 